Good morning, folks. I've been running around this morning like a madman, not doing the news, but getting ready to go. I'm heading to Washington, D.C. today for the National Space Weather Enterprise Forum, the National Space Weather Conference, and luckily, the sun decided to pick a day to be nice and calm when I had to do all this other stuff. So let's go ahead and peek in on it right now. We're looking at 193 angstroms. You can see there really is not much going on. We have the small central coronal hole right here. That sunspot group we were looking at above it. Now you're going to see the coronal hole actually disappear. Remember that was part of what's setting an earthquake watch and it actually disappeared as we did get a six pointer as in like within minutes. So let's zoom back out here. Scroll down. X-ray flux. Six hours. Three days. Solar flares, you can see there's not really much going on. The solar wind speed here in purple has continued to rise. That is due to the coronal hole streams that have been facing Earth and have been impacting. Of course, the rise has been slow. Uh, a three-day rise that barely takes us to 600 kilometers per second is nothing to be afraid of. And as you can see, we just got that one little bit of instability there. Uh, really nothing else going on in our shield. We did get back up into 6 magnitude range yesterday with a 6.2, striking about 40 kilometers beneath Tonga. Moving on now to some of the top stories, this is a look at some of the rainfall that fell the first 10, 11 days of June. That's 25 inches erasing the drought in parts of southern Florida. We also have an interesting story about how commercial balloons in the stratosphere, like weather balloons you might be used to seeing, could be monitoring hurricanes or even scanning for solar storms. As we come over to windy.com, I will quickly remind you how to go through and find what's going on. You're going to be wanting to look for the blues and the purples to the low pressure. That's with the pressure icon on. And then when you click the rain and snow, you're going to see that it is hugging the low pressure systems. I'm going to go ahead and push play so we can see what's on deck for the next couple days in the United States while I'll be in D.C. I will still be doing the morning news, hopefully with more time than I've had this morning. And Hopefully the sun will actually give us something to talk about, especially because we're going to the Space Weather Conference. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org, you do have a deeper look episode out that actually shows the poster presentation I'll be giving at the National Conference this week. Uh, it's very cool, and I guess I'll post it in the morning news, uh, hopefully with some pictures and some video. Uh, that we can get from some of the observers that are actually going to be there. Again, so let's say you want to find your own weather. Start with your pressure. You see this pressure cell tracking across the states there? Oh, shocker. That's where all the rain is. Time stamps down at the bottom. You can do this all by yourself. I am off to Washington, but I will see you tomorrow morning. Be safe, everyone.